Hello SWOTOR players! If you've been following Star Wars The Old Republic's Legacy of the Sith expansion or the combat styles on the public test server, you know that there's a lot of changes coming to the way combat works in The Old Republic. Today on the SWOTOR website, they released a news story that talks about Legacy of the Sith. In this video, I'm going to do a quick breakdown of any information in this article that might help us figure out how the combat style system was going to look. Okay, up here at the top in this first section, this is mostly background information, talking about the original design of the classes and advanced classes and how everything got put together in the original design. In this bottom section, they talk about how this has changed over time, how a lot of the skills have moved out of the base classes and into the advanced classes, and how it would be cool to have more customization. Not a lot of new information here, so let's move on to the next section. In this section, we get our first new piece of information. Um, I've not heard the base classes referred to as origin stories before. So we've got our first little tidbit of how they're going to start breaking down the new system. We already kind of knew that the story was going to be linked to the base class in some way, but this just completes what that system is going to be. This next line isn't anything new. We knew advanced classes were turning into combat styles, and that's what we've been testing on the public test server. So no new information here. In this section, in these two bullet points, this reaffirms information that we already knew. The tech origin stories or the blaster wielding origin stories will all share combat styles. And in the second point, the force based origin stories will also share combat styles. We also knew there would be light side and dark side alignment limitations for the force based origin stories, but we didn't really know how that was going to work. This line is interesting. So depending on how you want to read this, unlock the option to pick the other faction's combat styles in addition to their own. What I find interesting here is the in addition to their own. The way I read this, if you start as a light side based character and move to the dark side, you'll actually have access to all of the force based combat styles. And if you start on the dark side and move to the light side, you will also have access to all of the force based combat styles. If you start light and stay light or start dark and stay dark, then you'll only have access to four combat styles. I'm not 100% sure if this interpretation is accurate. You may be able to make this switch or you may be locked to your alignment choice. In this final section, we get some hints on how this is going to be implemented. From a character creation standpoint, they talk about picking your origin story and then picking your combat style. In the new character creation interface, this will probably be a couple of different screens. On the first screen, you will pick your origin story. On the second screen, you will pick between available advanced classes. This should be a fairly straightforward change to the character creation process, and they have stated that they want to update those UIs anyway. This final statement has a couple of different interpretations. It was my understanding from past communications, you'll be able to switch between advanced classes whenever you want. This could be based off of a legacy unlock or maybe even a paid vendor transaction. I am a little worried that it doesn't specifically say that here. The line, you can choose a combat style similar to your previous advanced class or choose something new, could go a couple of different ways. The pessimistic read on this is this is a permanent choice and you won't be able to change it down the road. I hope that is not true. The optimistic view of this is they're going to give you that choice as soon as you log in and then use the loadout system in order to let you change down the road. I really hope that's the case. One of the exciting things about the loadout system is being able to switch all of these combat styles as the need arises. Okay, that's what I pulled out of this post. I'm looking forward to seeing this system come together. If you read through this article and have a different interpretation on any of the information presented, please share in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, go watch, play, or create something great.